So now we're going to talk about how you manage campaigns uh, in a ways account for a channel partner. So when you open up your account, uh, you'll be able to select which account you're looking for here in the top left. You search any account, and then that, that account will show up. Right now, we're in Justin's Pizzeria, as I just created it, um, to, as an example, to give you guys a better understanding of what happens when you first log into an account and you want to set it up. So when you're managing the account, you'll always go here to the left side and click Manage Account, and this is the screen you're going to see. The top part of this screen is simply reporting metrics. So this is just going to show you what's been happening on the account for the last seven days. If you wanted to see more than the last seven days or a custom range, you could come up here and select seven days, 30 days, or a custom range that you could then select certain, uh, maybe if you have a flighted campaign or if you're trying to see certain flight dates, um, this, is where you could, this is where you could pick them. If you wanted to see a specific channel, such as just the branded pins, or just the takeovers, this is where you can select that as well. Once you select your channel and your dates, you come over here, you click generate, and the report will generate here for you to take a look at. If you wanted to export that report into an Excel format or, or a sheet, you can come down here to the breakdown, you press export, and all that information will be immediately downloaded um, onto your browser. To manage your campaigns or to set them up, that's all going to happen down below where it says campaigns down here. So you can see search campaigns and pin campaigns. The status of these campaigns is here. So right now they're both disabled because we just built the account and we're going to enable them here um, so that we get them spending. But you can also see the performance metrics that will be happening for each of the campaigns down here by the numbers. But say I wanted to go in and change my branded pin campaign. I would click here. I would click I would see my campaign name and the ad that I'm using. You can see right now it's under review because it usually takes 24 to 48 hours for creatives to be reviewed and approved by our ops team. Um, this is just to ensure that all creatives are abiding by the policy standards of the Google Display Network. Um, but say I wanted to change, this is a little confusing of a name, say I wanted to change this to just branded pin campaign for my reporting, it's a lot easier for me. I can see that Justin's Pizzeria is the, is the ads I'll be using, the drive there. And then the status, this is where I enable the campaigns, right? So this is where I see that they're actually going to be activated once my campaign is no longer under review and it's approved by the ads team. For now, I'll keep it disabled just because I don't want this uh, running immediately. If I come down here to pacing, okay, we have a start date and an end date um, for the branded pins. Uh, currently, how it's set up is it's always starting off with a monthly pacing budget. So what that means is right now my budget is $60. The algorithm will pace that evenly across the month. So if I start on April 1st and I want to finish on April 30th, that $60 is going to be spent $2 a day for 30 days. If I wanted to start on April 15th and I was going to end on April 30th and I put in a $60 budget, the algorithm, because it's on a monthly pacing system, will still read that as $2 a day for 30 days. So on April 15th, they'll be spending $2 a day until April 30th, and then you'll only spend $30 of that budget and not $60. Once a new month hits, everything will reset, and the budget will begin a monthly pacing schedule for the next month. So if you're going to keep the monthly pacing, you have to realize that this is going to be uh, based across a one month evenly dispersed split and not for say the beginning of the month to half halfway through the month or halfway through the month to the end of the month. If you wanted to add an end date, so you wanted to do certain flighted campaigns, you can add the end date here. And then if you say you wanted to do it from the 4th to the 27th, this changes the budget. And now the budget will start on the 4th and on the 27th and the $60 will be spent evenly throughout that specific flight dates. Coming down here for locations, if you had more than one location uh, in a chain or on, in the campaign, what you would do here is if you wanted to select, say, certain locations would have one budget and one creative, while other locations would have another budget and another creative, this is where you would make those changes. So right now I have all locations because Justin's Pizzeria is just one spot, but if I had a number of locations, this is where I could select the locations and input them here. And it would just be separated by a comma and a space. This location number that you see 
we'll get into it's it's at the locations menu but we'll be able to see that in a second um and these are this is where you'll enter those in down here to targeting so there's two types of targeting we can do for a pins campaign one is business opening hours and one is day part targeting so business opening hours is very simple it's basically saying i want to show my ad only when the business is open if that's the case all you have to do is click this box and you only show the ad when the business is open if you want to do it on a scheduled basis so for instance if this campaign for justin's pizzeria had a lunch campaign and a dinner campaign what we can do or a weekly campaign and a weekend campaign what you can do down here is dictate when you want this this budget and this ad to show up so right now it's 24 7 but if i wanted to change this to certain days of the week i could then go click a schedule where i could say i want this to show from 12 a.m to 5 p.m monday through wednesday click submit and then this would show up only during those hours so the day part targeting is really good if you're trying to separate a, uh, an account by certain times of day we recommend having pins always on so if you're going to do a targeting option we recommend that you have uh, a campaign for maybe one part of the day and the other but you're at least covering all 24 hours of the day to keep your awareness high amongst drivers in your area once this is all done you can click update campaign down here and then all of this would update into the system what does duplicate campaign mean duplicate campaign means that if i wanted to actually duplicate this and set up two campaigns underneath the justin's pizzeria account i could do it very easily by just clicking duplicate when would you use this you would use this if you wanted to create like i said a daytime campaign a nighttime campaign equal budgets just different hours everything would be duplicated the same and then you can just change your hours of operation uh, on here or if you had different locations, you have one location and you want to set the same exact campaign for a different location with maybe a different budget, you could dupl duplicate the campaign and then change the budget there. Going back to manage campaigns, we're going to leave this here. Now, if you see this up here, this is just saying, letting you know that it's currently being reviewed by the way staff. As I said, it takes 48 hours uh, for the creative to be reviewed. So say I wanted to add a takeover campaign. Right now it says pins and search. How do you add a takeover campaign? You do that by coming over here to add campaign. You click on that. I could click takeover campaign here. I'm still using the same creative. And here I would say add units going to be takeovers. We can enable it when we're ready. And then we can create the custom pacing with the budget and everything is the same when you come down to display options one thing that you can include with takeovers that you don't include with the branded pins is the radius so here you can include how far out you want people seeing this ad the pins only show up when the the actual location is in view on the map the radius can show up when a car is at a complete stop at different times based on the radius around your location so if you want to do that you go through the same process and click create campaign. Now here, if you, it's showing me because I didn't enter all the information in, this is what you need to enter in for the campaign to actually go live. So I'd have to enter in an end date because I'm at a custom, not a monthly. I have to enter in a proper budget and then I would be good to go live. So the system does correct you if you have something wrong to ensure that everything is correct um, when you actually go live and press it in the system. So for the sake of this, I'll do a campaign uh, ending on the 26th. We'll do a $300 budget for that. The CPM uh, is, this, the default CPM is always $20. And I'll keep the five kilometer radius and I'll create the campaign. So here I'll say, well done, successfully created the campaign. And now you can go down and see takeover campaign has been instituted into the platform as well. So the beauty of this is now we have a takeover pins in a search campaign ready to go. I just enable them when I want them to start. And then if I want to add more campaigns with different creatives or different locations, I can add them here. So that's how you manage campaigns on Waze. Next, we're going to talk about managing the actual ad formats 
um, on the platform.